Okay, here we go. Welcome to uh, More Than Meat, M-E-A-T. Uh, this is a show about me cooking. I'm Dave Rodriguez, also known as D-Rod by most of my friends. Most of you know me as a director, but I'm not, and I'm not a chef. I'm, I'm just uh, sharing my hobby with you and different ways to uh, impress chicks. And uh, let me introduce my, uh, my partner in crime, not my partner, because that's not appropriate in Hollywood. My partner in crime, Josh Cowdery. Good to see you. Good to see you. Brought some cigars. He was actually just waiting around the corner. Oh, right 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 right. right. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. Yeah, I mean, we know there's a camera. So, what do you but got? you did bring. I did bring. But that was a surprise for you. It is. Wow. I know okay. I had these. All right. Well, this is. Uh, and I'll go with the. I'll go with the Cohiba then. This is my favorite, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Is it really? Yeah. I love these. That's awesome. Thank you. So, um, so what we're gonna do is, um, you know, well, let me tell you a little bit about what, what, why I'm doing this. My son called me a couple months ago and said, Dad, you know, I wanna, I wanna make, uh, um, penny alla vodka which is what we're going to cook today. We're going to cook penne with a vodka sauce. And uh, I said, um, yeah, I can give you the recipe. And I went over it and kind of, you know, he started to write it down. And I figured, you know, why not put something like this on video? And why not, uh, you know, for all you single guys that spend 150, 200 bucks taking a girl out to, to dinner, why not have, uh, have her come over, buy a nice bottle of wine, spend 30, 40 bucks at the grocery store and make uh, a really cool dinner for, uh, for you and your girl and you might get lucky. So, um, you know, that was the idea behind this. What do you think, Josh? I think it's a good idea. So, to clarify, you're, you're trying to help your son get lucky? Uh, no, he's, <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's 18. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So he probably those are separate. No, well, he doesn't need my help getting lucky. But those are separate things. Right. right. You, Fatherly passing on advice, right, right, and, and also you know, and other people yeah. can benefit, perhaps. And yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, I was talking to this guy the other day, and he, he's, he's, tr he's a young kid, 21 years old, and he's trying to justify how spending 15 bucks a day on takeout makes sense. And I said, this, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. like, that's that's 450 bucks a month. That's a lot of pasta and a lot of rice. So why not go grocery shopping and mm -hmm. and make a meal, right? And it's not that that difficult. Yeah, that's 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 uh, what this is all about. So let's do it. Should we get started? Let's do it. All right. I want to say cool. Fresh garlic, not powder. It's good stuff. This is Spanish olive oil. You can use uh, Italian olive oil, but um, I'm just trying to represent right now, so I'm using the Spanish olive oil. <laughs> and then um, for you guys that uh, that have vegetarian girlfriends, uh, you could make the entire thing uh, without the meat, so that's another uh, another thing you can do if uh, if you want to impress. So the uh, the oil is uh, is hot in here, and now we're going to go ahead and add uh, some of these ingredients. So uh, the first thing we'll add is the. Uh, the prosciutto, you can hear it, uh, and that, by the way guys, turn on the fan because your smoke alarm is going to go off if you don't. Can you add the uh, basil, a little garlic. Now that we have the uh, the prosciutto, the basil, and the crushed garlic in there, we're going to add a little bit of red pepper. And I usually go by sight, so if you, you want to punch in here a little bit. I sprinkle it in there, not that much. So not too much. You don't want to go nuts with it because then it'll be too hot and it'll taste like a like a Mexican pasta dish. With, and there's nothing wrong with Mexicans or Mexican pasta dishes. I just want to make sure that uh, that you guys don't make it taste taste like a, a burrito or something. You can add a little pinch of salt if you want. 
but as I said before, the um, the Parmesan is going to make it salty enough. But that was more than a pinch. That was actually a punch. <laughs> Now the sauce is going to start to get pink. And you know what I do is I let it sit on top and then I cover it because if you mix it in, it'll melt to the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, pot. So uh, I let it kind of do its thing. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that. Now once the, the Parmesan is, is mixed in, um, what I like to do is I like to simmer it and then take this off so that it starts to become creamy. Is that a mix that you put together there? Or is that stuff that you like? A, a, a... No, this is a little bit of parsley, a little bit of basil, um, you know, a little bit of uh, oregano, a little oregano. You know, you sprinkle a little bit of uh, salt on the chicken. I got a question while you're doing this. I noticed when I got here, you, you have an apron on. Yeah. You don't typically wear an apron. I don't believe I haven't noticed on set. I haven't noticed it. No, I haven't. No, it it's a prop. <laughs> Yeah, it's a prop for sure. So it's a good uh, prop. It's good. You're cooking. It fits. Yeah, I figured. You know what? I'm cooking. Why not? And and honestly, if you were if you were cooking for a date, you should wear it. You should wear an apron. <laughs> in fact, I have uh, I have some here for you. Um, it's an apron. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me I just, just let me, yeah. Yeah, let me just help you with this. Oh wow! Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you yeah. yeah, got it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna tie it around you. Back up, I don't feel like I'm cooking though. Kind no, of it's okay. But if, if something splashes, it won't it won't hit your. This is more just your, to get me back for your, your fitted, me. your fitted light blue T-shirt. So um. But I'm gonna go over here real quick and check on these, uh, check on my colander, and uh, oh, Jesus, everybody's dropping stuff over. Oh, that's yeah. No, that helps. You, you know just got to blow the stuff off. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Those are oh, Wash your hands. Wash your hands, please, and remove the. What? Oh, hold on. No, wash them. Come on, we gotta. No, no, they're washed. They're washed. Guys, Bro, they're look. I know. I saw that. I saw that. Let's... Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Speaking of being Puerto Rican. Hold on, hold on. Because the water just yeah was too loud and but I couldn't speaking hear. Speaking of being Puerto Rican. Right. Those are bananas, not plantains. You don't plan on putting plantains into our. Our meal, do you? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Cause who are you, man? Probably not. Cause it won't go right. How much have you had? <laughs> no, that's empty. Well, that's, oh, that's the one spot right there. Oh, Dude, oh. are you? That's a. Uh... If I was a dog, my leg would be shaking. All right, if I wasn't here, would you use? But it? I don't cook with this. Then why is it in the cooking thing? They're nails. They're like nails. See that? 
They're like nails, so it's... Do you want to try it? No. Turn around. I do want to try it, but don't... Tell me that doesn't feel how it works. It feels like how does that feel? Huh? Like a girl's nails. You're right. See? I was thinking nails, but wash it. Right? You want me to keep going? Yeah, one more. See that? Yeah, see that. It's weird, right? Because it's weird. Wash it. You know, I didn't mean anything about the plantains. It's just yeah, Puerto whatever. Rican, and you no, guys no, put plantains and everything. Mm -hmm. No, I got that. Shave Parmesan. Pasta and chicken, cheese, peas, bees knees. I don't want to talk, but it's good. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how good is it? Ten? Eleven? Eleven? And we're gonna do this again at some point soon, right? I think I would love to. Yeah. If I can just stand around, lean up against the counter, and wait for you to cook shit, I could do it all the time. Great pasta dish, glass of wine, nice dessert, and uh, it's definitely a recipe for, uh, for getting some. <laughs> what would you say? I don't like you saying that to me, but I agree. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time on uh, More Than Fucking Me. More Than Me. Tear in my pasta. <laughs> Made with love. <laughs> <laughs>